Yeah. It's, it's hard out. It's hard out. Janelle, mum. I started Wellesley after Warren had the job here as a classroom teacher and would return from overseas. Uh, that was 30 plus years ago. I was relief teaching at the intermediates, the so classroom teaching and art teaching. And uh, I, I came here just originally just to volunteer to take art because there wasn't an art specialist and then that led on to the then principal Graham offering me a part-time position. So I took art and maths. I started here back in 81. We'd come back from overseas and we returned to the Wairapa where we had uh, our house but decided no we didn't really want to stay on the Wairapa so we headed back towards Wellington but didn't have a job and I saw this job advertised in the paper for a teacher at Wellesley. I thought oh that'll do for one year and particularly when we found out that it had accommodation as well so we thought hmm that one year should be good and then we can sort out what we really want to do and basically we fell in love with the place and Every time I uh, was reasonably ambitious to uh, sort of improve myself, I guess. So when positions of leadership came up in the school, I applied for them and, and originally got a syndicate leadership position, then went on to become deputy principal, and then in 1995 started the principal role. We've stayed a very long time at Wellesley because it's a very hard place to leave, <laughs> I guess, and um, it's been part of our family. Our boys have been through here and Olivia thinks she's been through here, even though she hasn't. It's very much a place that you get hooked on. It's a beautiful physical environment and the school keeps growing and changing and evolving and there always seems to be something that you can look forward to doing or doing and I, I love the boys and um, though you, you can you, you get attached to whatever if you you know you, as a teacher you get attached to your pupils whoever they are but this is just a lovely place to see boys grow. I always believed that it was about fostering curio curiosity, that was the most important thing, and, and going into something deeply, and I still believe that very strongly. We need to give everything time, and that's possibly one of the dangers going forward, that everything's so instant that you get instant pleasure or instant knowledge, that I think it's really important to slow things down and make people discover things for themselves and find out for themselves and I've always felt that quite strongly because we do have answers to pretty much everything at our fingertips uh, but I don't, I don't know if the arts changed dramatically because um, yeah basically it's about looking and that's nothing's changed there it's about look, looking and thinking and, and appreciating. There's a boy called Theo MacDonald who once described well as his education as edutainment, a combination of education and entertainment. And it's not necessarily a purposeful thing, but I think what we're trying to do is connect with the boys' interests and passions. And so if you can provide context for learning that are exciting, so they, it might be a science thing, but they can connect when it's fun, they're going to get a lot more learning out it's of that. It's hard fun. Yeah, hard fun. I have the privilege of working in this beautiful environment, so it's not that hard. and. I don't know, I do, I do try and make them feel very welcome and loved here and I, only because it comes naturally to them and trust me you can come to school feeling pretty indifferent to the world and they, they certainly lift your spirits, these boys. Eve's being humble, Eve has got a special, special ability to connect with the boys and um, they love Eve I, I love and art, she's a very, very cap capable teacher. Yes. You are, and, um, and you ask anybody, you do a fantastic job there. Yeah. We've seen boys come through here in the scholarship program, and the impact the school has made on them has been enormous. They've grown in so many ways. They, they walk into a culture which is aspirational, and, uh, and they're supported so well, and they, they just blend into the school. And you put any group of children together from any socioeconomic background, any colour, any creed, they're children and they work together so well. And the thing about the scholarship is it's not just that one boy that's affected by it. He goes back to his community and he, is, he becomes a role model, 
model for that community. They see things they didn't think were possible. It's mm. these boys don't have the role models that ours do. Well, some of them do, that might be a generalisation, but a lot of them don't. And so it's, you're affecting one child, but you're affecting a child that's going to have a big impact on his community. I hope we just don't lose sight of what's important in those qualities of being brave and kind and happy. I hope we keep those in sight and, um, and we realise that it's always the people that count, not, not, not to lie back on just what we've got here, but the people. I don't disagree, that's pretty well summed up. <laughs> I think this is really lovely. The boys were doing some work around the school song and this is Alone We Stumble, this is a verse from the school song which you all know. Alone we stumble and together we hold fast to the we hold fast to face the future and to honour the past. Courage, Courage to, to be, be different, different and to ambition to be part of the long hill tradition that is Wellesley. You can there's a little man supporting all the boys here and I don't you <laughs> It's, a, just a it's just a sketch, he's doing a bigger painting of this, but there's a strong figure, which is Wellesley, and all these little guys working together, and I love that idea, together we grow strong, you know, yeah. and um, then there's someone diving off the end, which presumably is the end part of his journey at Wellesley. He's done this pretty much at lunchtime. Mm. But, yeah, so, but, and um, this sort of unity, these boys love each other, Mm. It is gorgeous walking through the school. They start off as little guys with their hands together, you know, this, and just such sweet images. And then as they get older, they're doing this. And then they go on and they're there for each other. Yes. And we should be there for them and um, they are there for each other. Mm. Which is kind of nice. That's very nice.